Have you ever met someone and felt an instant, unexplainable connection? That magnetic pull might just be the work of invisible chemical messengers called pheromones. In this video, we're unraveling the science behind attraction, delving into how these chemical signals influence our behavior, often without us even knowing. Are you ready to discover the hidden forces that might be pulling your heartstrings? Let's dive in. In the intricate dance of human attraction, there's more at play than meets the eye. Beyond the obvious traits that draw us to one another, our bodies are constantly broadcasting silent signals, pheromones. These invisible chemicals carry messages that can trigger powerful responses, swaying our emotions and perceptions. But how do these silent influencers work? And what secrets do they hold about our most primal instincts? Picture this, you're at a party, and suddenly someone walks in, and boom, you're inexplicably drawn to them. No, it's not because they have a secret stash of nachos. It might just be their pheromones working their magic. These invisible love potions get detected by a special organ in our noses. Yes, we have a built-in pheromone detector, because why not? When pheromones are released, they are detected by a specialized organ in the nose called the vomeronasal organ, or VNO. Though the VNO's role in humans is still debated, some research suggests that pheromonal signals are processed in the olfactory system, influencing areas of the brain linked to emotion and social behavior. Once these signals reach the brain, they can stimulate the release of neurotransmitters like dopamine, which is associated with pleasure and reward. This can create feelings of happiness and euphoria when we're around a particular person, making us more likely to feel attracted to them. Think of dopamine as your brain's way of saying, hey, this person is special. Pheromones can also trigger the release of oxytocin, often dubbed the cuddle hormone, which fosters feelings of bonding and trust, encouraging you to get a little closer and maybe share a cheesy pickup line or two. Moreover, pheromones may influence the hypothalamus, a region of the brain that regulates hormones linked to sexual behavior and attraction. By affecting the levels of these hormones, pheromones might subtly increase sexual attraction between individuals. A famous study had participants wear t-shirts for several nights and then had others sniff the shirts. The sniffers were more attracted to the scent of individuals with different immune system genes, suggesting a subconscious drive towards genetic diversity. Another study found that exposure to male pheromones could increase cortisol levels in women, subtly altering their mood and perception. And let's not forget the phenomenon of menstrual synchrony among women living in close quarters, possibly influenced by pheromonal communication. These studies hint at a fascinating reality. While we might think we're in control of our romantic choices, there's a whole world of invisible chemical signals nudging us along. But let's not forget the piece de resistance, the immune system compatibility check. Yep, pheromones can signal genetic differences in immune systems, encouraging you to pick a partner whose genes complement yours. It's nature's way of saying, let's make sure the next generation is strong enough to survive the apocalypse. So. The next time you find yourself drawn to someone, remember, it's not just their sparkling personality. It's your brain responding to a finely tuned cocktail of pheromones with a dash of evolutionary matchmaking. If the secrets of attraction hooked you, get ready for our next episode, where we'll unravel the neurochemistry of guilt, dive into the brain's intricate workings, and discover how this powerful emotion shapes our behavior. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.